everybody. Welcome to another Saturday Night Snuggle Story Time with Miss Katie and the boys. This week, we're going to be reading about farm animals. We have Cindy Moo and Mr. Duck Means Business. So grab a stuffy, cuddle up, and get ready for a story time. Cindy Moo. Hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport and the dish ran away with the spoon. Over at the diddle farm, a little bit past eight, the cows all heard a nursery rhyme that caused a great debate. Diddle cows stood in the barn and listened to each word about the cow that jumped the moon, amazed at what they heard. Across the moon, cried Buttercup. No way, said Honey Bun. The moon's too high and much too far. It simply can't be done. And as the cow scoffed at the thought, a voice rose loud and true. Why can't a cow jump to the moon? That voice was Cindy Moos. The cows began to argue, each took a different side, but in the end they all confessed that none of them had tried. So Cindy Moo raised up a hoof and said that it was true. If that cow could jump the moon, by golly, I can too. As Cindy Moo walked to the field, the others gathered round. She jumped that moon with room to spare in one grand bovine bound. She pawed her hooves, she shook her head, she ran and picked up speed. And with a mighty moo, she jumped. What do you think's gonna happen? Do you think she's gonna jump the moon? Oh, across a prickly weed. I told you so, said Honey Bun. Too bad, said Buttercup. Cows weren't meant to jump the moon. Why don't you just give up? But Cindy Moo ignored her friends. She made a solemn vow. She'd jump across the silver moon as soon as she knew how. The next night after grazing, she caught a stunning sight. The moon was perched upon the hill, a ball of silver light. Cindy Moo let out a snort and charged up to the top. But when she reached the grassy peak, she skidded to a s stop. Instead of staying on the hill, much to her surprise, the moon flew off the grassy ridge, back up to star-filled skies. Cindy Moo plopped on the ground. Would it be for naught? Jumping to the moon she said. It's harder than I thought. What do you think? Do you think Cindy Moo should give up or should she keep trying? Let's see. Back inside the barn that night, the worst of all came true. Rain clouds swept the moon away. Now what was she to do? She couldn't jump what wasn't there. Perhaps the herd was right. The moon and cows would never mix, not then or any night. But late that night, when rain raindrops stopped, she peeked outside and found the moon had slipped down to the earth upon the rain-soaked ground. Where do you see the moon? That's right, I see it in the puddle. 
Cindy Moo kicked up her heels and raced with all her might. And with a happy moo, she jumped across the moon that night. What moon did she jump? She jumped the moon in the puddle. Her friends came out and marveled much. Miss Moo, you've done it now. A cow can really jump the moon as long as she knows how. And ever since that rainy night, the cows do not debate. Whenever rain clouds pass their way and it is growing late, they gaze upon that puddled moon and jump it two by two. And guess who leads the diddle herd? Who do you think? Of course, it's Cindy Moo. The end. Mr. Duck means business. Mr. Duck lived by himself at the pond. Each day he followed a tight schedule. From six in the morning until seven, he would stretch his wings. From seven until eight, he would fluff his feathers. And at precisely 8.01, he would glide across the perfectly still water. Ah, said Mr. Duck, it's so peaceful, so quiet, I have everything I need. Day after day, week after week, and year after year, everything was the same. And Mr. Duck was very happy. Then, one especially hot summer day, Mr. Duck had just begun his morning gliding when he saw who's coming, who's on their way to the pond. That's right. Pig? Look out below. Oink, oink. Splash! Mr. Duck sputtered. He muttered. He tail a fluttered. But Pig did not get the message. Mr. Duck was all set to give Pig a strongly worded speech regarding private property when... Well, there you are, said Cow. Let's see your moves, called Pig. Jump in. You don't mind, do you, Mr. Duck? Said Cow as she plowed past. Moo, moo, splash. Mr. Duck grumbled. He mumbled. He flip, flop, fumbled. But Pig and Cow did not get the message. Mr. Duck was all set to tell them what's what when, hey, said Goat, we've been looking all over for you. Anyone up for a game of Marco Polo? Called Pig. Last one in is a rotten egg, cheeped a chick. Come on, Mr. Duck, said Cow, you're it. What do you think Mr. Duck is thinking? You think he's happy right now? Hmm, I don't know. The water got wild. The scenery got crowded and the peace and quiet, it was gone. Mr. Duck tapped. He flapped. He totally snapped. Quack! And somebody got the message. Perhaps we've overstayed our welcome, 
said Chick. Oh, said the other animals. Out, out, out of my pond, cried Mr. Duck. This time, I mean business. So sorry, my apologize. Goodbye for good, said Mr. Duck. Sorry to have bothered you, said Chick. Thanks for letting us swim in your pond. I don't know. Was that very nice of Mr. Duck? They just wanted to come in and have a swim. Alone at last, Mr. Duck returned to his routine. He stretched his wings. There was no splashy belly flopping. He fluffed his feathers. There was no annoying water ballet. He glided across the perfectly still water. There was certainly no rowdy round of Marco Polo. Ah, said Mr. Duck. It's so peaceful, so quiet, and that's just the way I like it. On Monday, quiet. On Tuesday, very quiet. On Wednesday, peaceful. On Thursday, very peaceful. On Friday, yawn. On Saturday, Mr. Duck twiddled his feathers, peacefully and quietly, of course. And on Sunday, what do you think he's gonna do? What's he gonna do on Sunday? Mr. Duck had a plan. These days, Mr. Duck still loves to stretch at six. He still loves to fluff his feathers at seven. He still loves to glide across the perfectly still water at precisely 8.01. But sometimes life calls for a little noise. Look, Mr. Duck made a sign. What does it say? Noise welcome from two to four p.m. Especially with friends. The end. Hope everybody enjoyed those stories. Sweet dreams. Good night. Good night.